Hello everybody, welcome back to the Cupcake Gemma channel with me, Sally, and welcome to the Crumbs and Doilies Bakery here in London. I hope you are all keeping really well and managing to keep warm because it is super cold at the moment and I absolutely hate being cold. It's like my least favourite thing in the entire world. And there's only one good thing about being cold and that is drinking something hot and delicious to warm you up. I'd usually try and go for like a mulled wine or a hot toddy but I appreciate that I can't be drinking mulled wine at every hour of every day so next up I'm going to choose a hot chocolate. I think everybody would agree that a hot chocolate just makes you feel so good and so comforting. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make hot chocolate cupcakes not a drink. These cupcakes are going to be so delicious they're going to have our favourite moist chocolate sponge and we're going to fill that with a Chantilly cream and then we're going to do a two-tone white chocolate and milk chocolate icing, a big old splodge of ganache and we're going to top it with a toasted marshmallow. So loads going on and as usual you can get all the ingredients in the description box below but if you want a full beautifully made downloadable PDF then you can do that by joining our bake club over on Patreon. Head to patreon.com forward slash Cupcake Gemma and join us there for all the recipe cards that you could ever want along with heaps more content, extra videos, loads of polls and just a chance to hang out with us. <laughs> if you don't really want to do that, that's fine. Just stick here on YouTube. We'll still be bringing you recipes at least once a week. Hopefully more coming up soon. Anyway, cut the chat, Sally crack on with this cupcake recipe so it <laughs> sounds like yeah seriously Sally get on with it we're gonna start with our chocolate sponge so I've got a nice big bowl here this is such an easy recipe it's a wet it's a dry we mix it together so I've got two small eggs here and we're gonna crack those right on in Et voila. <laughs> and into that I know that was the second attempt sorry uh, we're going to add some buttermilk so I've got 125 grams of buttermilk um, you can buy this in most superstores but you can also make your own I will put a link in the description box below to a nifty little video on how to do that and into here we're also going to pop in some oil so I've got vegetable oil and I've got 105 grams Pour all of that in. You could use sunflower oil as well, something flavourless. And we're going to whisk this together. Next up, we've got 125 ml of coffee. Now this I made this morning and I've let it cool down completely so that we don't scramble our eggs. And we'll just pour and mix. And in answer to your question, yes. You absolutely must use coffee. <laughs> you can't taste it. It really just intensifies the chocolatiness, so trust us on that one. Now it is time to add our dry ingredients. So I've got my sieve here and I'm going to pour it all in, starting with 140 grams of plain flour, 185 grams of caster sugar, 35 grams of both uh, cocoa powder and chocolate chips, and then I've got a half teaspoon of bicarb and quarter teaspoon of salt. We'll just sift that through. I realise I just put chocolate chips into a sieve, but that's okay. Once we've sifted the flour through, I'll just dump them in. And now all that we need to do is grab back our whisk and mix it all together. Looking good, smelling good. It is time to get this into our cupcake tin. So I've got a regular 12 hole tin here and I'm just gonna fill those with the cupcake cases. That was my favorite thing working in a bakery was filling up the cupcake cases. As you can see, I'm very good at it. <laughs> now because this is a really liquid batter, I'm gonna pour it into a small jug it's going to make it so much easier for us to get it into our cupcake pan. And we're going to go for about two thirds to three quarters full. Just going to even these out a bit. I might be good at putting cupcake cases in a pan, but 
clearly not very good at evening out cupcakes. Right, so these are going to go in the oven. The oven is preheated to 150 degrees C, which is fan assisted. And they're going to go in for around 22 to 24 minutes until they spring back when you touch it with your finger. And in the meantime, we shall get on with making our icing. So we're going to start with just one kind of batch and then we're going to divide it and we're going to make half of it white chocolate and half of it milk chocolate. So we've got some butter here and I've got 300 grams of butter and look how lovely and soft it is. That is essential when making buttercream. And that's going to go straight into my mixer. And you can do this by hand with an electric hand whisk if you like but I cannot recommend getting a stand mixer more. Right, let's get this onto a medium to high speed for about five minutes. This is why you need to whip your buttercream, just look at that. It is so beautiful and fluffy and what we're doing is incorporating loads and loads of air so that we do get a lovely fluffy buttercream in the end, not like a horrible stodgy waxy thing. No, no, I know you wouldn't do that guys. Right, icing sugar time. I've got 500 grams and I have sifted it already. I'm going to put half of it in as usual just so that we continue to whip and create more and more air. This is the cloudiest icing sugar ever so I am actually going to use my guard which we always used to dismiss me and Gemma we were like oh they're rubbish they're actually really useful right so we're going to start on a low speed <laughs> and then we'll turn it up to a high speed once the sugar's incorporated and once it's had a good few minutes we'll do the exact same thing again Okay, so basic buttercream made. And now we are going to split this in half. Bye eye. <laughs> and I'm gonna make half of it white chocolate buttercream and the other half milk chocolate buttercream so that we can two-tone our cupcakes. Yes. Why do one buttercream when you could do two? And this is a really good way of learning how to make one big batch that you can then portion out into different flavors. So I think my eyes are telling me that's about half. So we'll pop this one to one side and into our bowl we'll add our white chocolate. So I've got 100 grams of white chocolate that I've melted and I've let it cool slightly so it doesn't melt the buttercream. And we'll pop our paddle back on. And whilst we do this, whilst we mix this, we'll check the consistency because we might want to add a little bit of milk. So it's pretty soft, but I am going to add about a tablespoon of milk because milk does help to kind of loosen it, but also it helps the sugar to dissolve and for it to all kind of become one a little bit better so less kind of grainy so I'm just gonna pour in I've got whole milk here full fat one tablespoon we'll mix it through and you can already see how much smoother that looks All right, so now we're just going to do the switcheroo. I'm going to switch this icing out, put in our remaining plain, add some milk chocolate, a little bit of milk, buttercream's done.
Honestly, I don't know why we don't make milk chocolate buttercream more because it is so good and it's just like eating, drinking chocolate milk. Amazing. So these are made. I'm just gonna cover my bowls with cling film. I'm gonna have a little tidy down, wait for our cupcakes to cool down, and then we can get filling and icing and decorating and eating. Alrighty, so my little cuppy cakes have cooled down completely, so they are ready to be decorated. So first of all, we're gonna make some Chantilly cream to fill them. Chantilly makes it sound really fancy, but essentially it's just whipped cream with a little bit of icing sugar and a splash of vanilla. And we're gonna whip this up. I'm gonna do it by hand because Dane and Gemma have formed some kind of alliance where they will judge if you don't do it by hand. Uh, we're just gonna whisk this until it's a soft peak. There we go, so then we're just gonna pop that into a piping bag. We're gonna cut holes in our cupcakes and we're gonna fill them up with cream. All right, so next up it is time to decorate and we're gonna be doing a two-tone, which you may have seen us do here on the channel before, but don't worry, I'll talk you through it. So I've got some cling film here, and as always, you wanna give your buttercream a little bit of a whip before you use it, just to get rid of some of those big air bubbles. And then, one at a time, we're gonna take a blob of icing, plop it on to the cling film, and we're gonna make a strip. And then with your second colour, I mean you can do this with like four, five, six colours, you can do rainbow icing this way. So then you're going to grab the next one and dollop it next to the first one. And then we're going to grab one edge of the cling film and pull it over the top to make a sausage. I imagine this is what making sushi is like, although probably a lot more skilled. <laughs> so we just wrap it all up like this. And then for the top end, we're gonna squeeze the cling film together and just give it a little twist so that it doesn't splurge out the top. And then we're gonna leave this end open. And that's the end that we're gonna insert into the piping bag. So I've got a big round nozzle here on my piping bag. This is the real fun part. She's there, she's a bit scared. We're gonna pick this up, hee hee, and we're gonna plop it in to the piping bag. Now, before we get piping onto the cupcakes, we just wanna make sure that the two-tone is coming out nice and sharp, so just have a little practice. Look at that. Doo -doo, doo -doo. I will eat this later, don't you worry. <laughs> so now, we're gonna ice quite high, high top kind of icing style, just so we get that really clear definition between the two colors. Love them, they look ridiculously massive. That's how I like my cupcakes, people. Next up, it is ganache. So this is just a standard ganache, one-to-one -one chocolate to double cream. And I'm gonna pour a nice little splodge on top and hope that it drips down one side of the cupcake. Which way? I'm gonna go this way. Now, a hot chocolate wouldn't be a hot chocolate without a marshmallow. And in my opinion, a marshmallow isn't a marshmallow unless it's been toasted. So that's what we're gonna do. So I have some marshmallows here. Now, it is totally fine for you to go to your store and buy yourself some marshmallows. You can get big ones, you can get small ones, you can get pink ones, whatever you want. But 
If like me, you think a homemade marshmallow is better than a shop made, maybe you've never made them. And I'm telling you right now that a homemade marshmallow is absolutely a million times better. Um, we've got a couple of marshmallow recipes on the channel. I will chuck a few links to them in the description box below. And also over on Patreon, I'm gonna make sure that you guys get this marshmallow recipe. So if you want it, you know where to get it. <laughs> so I'm gonna toast each of these before we put them on the cupcake because I did actually do this the other day and stupidly toasted it once it was on the cupcake and melted everything. <laughs> Lesson learned. So I've got my blowtorch. This is the best bit. Right, get down here, Sam. And it is a little bit hot, but it's not like too hot to handle. So I'm just gonna use this palette knife because it will go nice and sticky on the bottom. Where should we go? Should we go over here? I think we should go over here. Let's pop him on top. Woohoo! I know. How good is that? <laughs> we'll eat them in a minute, but I'm just going to toast the rest of my marshmallows. I think they are absolutely beautiful, if not slightly difficult to eat. I didn't really think about that um, until now when I have to eat one on camera, which I am incredibly sorry for right now. <laughs> but should we give it a go? Should we give it a go? Okay, let's do it. I warned you, there's no way I can do this. Okay, hang on. <laughs> nope. Delicious. That sponge is always such a win. It is so moist and lovely. And the vanilla ooh, really shines from the Chantilly in the middle. White chocolate and milk chocolate icing. I mean, seriously. Come on, crumbs and doilies. Do some more milk chocolate icing. That is so good. Mmm. Mmm. And toasting a marshmallow just makes it 10 times better because it kind of caramelizes on the sugar. Absolutely delicious. I feel like I kind of failed trying to eat that, but don't worry. Stick around at the end and I'll give it my best efforts. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you love it and I hope you give it a go. I think I'm gonna request that these are gonna get put in C&D Soho for the weekend. I haven't told Dane this yet. He will be making a lot of marshmallows, but maybe he'll love me for it. I know he does really. <laughs> and remember, head over to Patreon to get the downloadable PDF for full instructions and photos of how to make this cupcake, along with the marshmallow video as well. We'll be back next week with another recipe for you guys. In the meantime, have a fabulous, fabulous week. Enjoy making and eating these delicious cupcakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.